Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. Today's for our more advanced players and he's going to be working on building out from the back. For our warm up you're going to set up as many 12 by 12 yard grids as you need and use them to play a 1v2 in the middle with 3 on the outside. The objective is to get the ball to the outnumbered attacker in the middle without the defenders intercepting and then to play it back out to the outside. The outside players can pass to each other and the defenders can intercept the passes at any point if it's inside the square. We suggest not having the squares close to each other as this will cause chaos with balls flying backwards and forth and try to make sure that you relate this to a real game. The situation inside the square is similar to a central midfielder or a central forward trying to get the ball when outnumbered. The Support players on the outside are the players that are playing wide or drop back pass to the defenders. To progress this we're going to add a goal to one side and our attacker has to try and score as quickly as possible. There's coaching points on the session plan and please familiarise yourself with these. In our technical element of the session in a 36 by 24 yard grid, we're going to divide it in half with two goals at each end. We're going to play a 5v5 or similar as what you can do and each team is confined to half and you will send one player to the opposite side. The objective is to score in either of the two goals, remember players must stay in their assigned half. This will create an outnumbered situation for the striker and will give us time to try and build out from the back. Making it easy we can allow an extra player to join the attack when the ball goes in the opposite half and making it harder we can allow our players only 3 touches on the ball. Make sure players realise that this is a real game. The lone player is replicating our forward and when he or she is outnumbered will need quality service. The defenders can take the time to compose themselves if they have extra numbers and try and play out from the back. In our tactical element we're going to play in a half or a full size field depending on the amount of players you've got. One regular goal at one end with a goalkeeper and we're going to put two small goals on the halfway line. It's going to be attack versus defence and set up a formation how you would in a normal game. To be realistic the defensive team should have an extra player plus the goalkeeper. This simulates how a normal game will look and the defender's objective is to try and get the ball into the two goals. This should encourage deliberate and forward passes and encourage your goalkeeper to roll the ball to a defender and, and also to be part of the defending unit. You can progress this by adding a target player for the defensive team to try and find and allow that player only to move laterally along the halfway line. Making it easy we're going to add a build out line so that the goalkeeper and the defenders have more time to play and making it harder will allow a maximum of only 3 touches. Again there's 2 coaching points that you should definitely familiarise yourself with this. At the end of our session it's going to be game time. We suggest playing 5v5 to keep all the players engaged and regularly touching the ball and we suggest playing no goalkeepers and put the use of small goals in for accurate shots. We're going to set formations, we're going to assign positions and we're going to help the players understand their roles within the game and we suggest that you should always let the game flow so that players can enjoy the game without any instruction but also find time to hop in with your coaching points for the day. There's a coaching summary on the session plan that you should definitely familiarise yourself with and for more drills and for the session plans to go along with these drills visit p2.soccer.